Morning, welcome to another Bikers Travelogue. So, uh, away with the birds this morning, and uh, you can probably hear them chirping away in the background. Okay, so I'm out in the middle of nowhere uh, again uh, in Oxfordshire in the UK, a uh, place called Bix, or just off Bix, and I come to find this old ruined church, and I didn't even know it was here. So uh, I saw it on a map the other day, and I thought, come and investigate. So let's go, let's go and check it out. Now this is obviously being kept by the local people, maybe even the local parish council. But look at this, old ruins. So the story goes, uh, apparently, that this church there used to be a little community around here at the settlement. Um, I think the settlement was called Bix Brand or something. So in the 1700s, the the um, community started to um, die away, I suppose, or they moved away and moved to about a couple of miles away. This other village called Bix, and so that village developed and thrived. And this one died down. The church, as it was, served this community, also fell into disrepair, and then eventually just went away. Mad, doesn't it? Right in the middle of nowhere here. <laughs> this is old derelict church. Unbelievable. And it's still. Yes, it's in ruins, yeah, but actually, the walls are all still there. And it's, you know, it's in really good condition, considering it's a, you know, a few hundred years old. Well, certainly certain parts of it are, anyway. And you see what it's made of, you know, just chalk stone and shale and God knows whatever. Let's go and have a look inside. I mean, it's not, it's not a massive church. It's not a huge church, but you know, that's where the congregation would be. This is where the priest would be as well. Wow, have a look, look at the roots growing through there. The windows, the hearth there, I suppose. See where the holes where the wooden beams would be up there, coming through up there as well. Wow. Look at this. It's still really good condition, still really well intact. And this bit is obvious, it's an obvious repair just to shore up the wall here. Yeah, and that is a as a repair there, just to shore it up as well. But, you know, there's a lot of old stuff here. And it's right in the middle of nowhere. You know, you just wonder, you know, how, how this has become, you know, what was the story behind it? Why the settlement sort of died away? Why people moved, you know? And they didn't move you know, hundreds of miles away, they actually moved about a mile away, so it was not exactly even a great distance. So you wonder what was the point, really. But, uh, you know, and this is, if you ever want to come and have a look at this, this is Bix in Oxfordshire. Uh, look out for St. James's Church, this is what it's called. It's a great, I mean, you know. For something that should, you know, you think, well, this is a bit odd, just having this here. And I'm sure these are littered all over the country, all over the world, you know. There are <coughs> old ruins of places. But, you know, it's not often that you get them not in England, I don't think. Not often. You do get them. In Wales, you get them quite a, quite a bit, I think. But not so much in England. Well, not that I've come across, anyway. 
there are lots of remains of churches, lots of old churches, um, but you won't have the walls, you just have the footprint, or what I've come across anyway. You have a church in ruins like this, but you still got the walls there. You still see it as what it's supposed to be. Interesting. I mean, look, look around, look at the silence here. Right, okay. So, head back through a uh, little time tunnel here. Back right to the 21st century. To the bike. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, information board there as well. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this. Um, so we're going to get on the bike now and just going to go to uh, another section. Um, we're going to check that out as well. Okay, cheers.